Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the She's Making an Impact podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Ngom. We are in Million Dollar March. So this is our third video for Million Dollar March. If you missed the first two, if you want to listen to them, you can go back and listen on the She's Making an Impact podcast. If you want to watch the video version, make sure you are inside the She's Making an Impact Facebook group. Just go to Facebook, search She's Making an Impact. You'll find us. You'll get to join us and 20,000 other rock star entrepreneurs. Live one, we talked about what it requires to hit a million dollars. In our second training, we talked about how to reverse engineer your million dollar your million dollar year. And then today I want to talk about the team that it requires to hit a million dollars in your business because you you can't get there alone. It's going to require a team. And this is the area that I think what I see a lot that people get stuck on is they don't want to hire the team or they have a really hard time letting go of certain tasks and actually empowering their team to take over. So this could be like, I mean, we could spend a lot of time here today. I just want to talk about, you know, some of the team members it's going to require for you to hit your million dollar business. But when it comes to properly training, equipping, leading your team to success, that could be like an entire month's topic. So uh, if that's something you want me to cover, let me know and we can, we can make it happen. So the team that it requires to hit a million dollars, um, you need to have a right hand, like a wing woman, a wing man, uh, somebody that's there really supporting you in the vision. And this, this, all the roles on your team, they're going to evolve. So like example, I hired Ariana as somebody to do high level tech for me because I was getting stuck in active campaign and click funnels and all the things that I should not have been doing. I was spending time on it. And what I want you to think of is I was spending hours upon hours trying to figure out like automations with an active campaign. When in reality, Ariana, if I would have just hired her, it would have taken her one hour, $35 for her to figure it out and put it together. So the things that are causing you like a big headache, those are the things you need to get off your plate, get to somebody. So having somebody that is like your right hand that you can count on is awesome. Okay. Um, Ariana, like I said, she started as just a higher level virtual assistant and now she's moved into being more of the online business manager role. Um, but you want somebody there that can really support you, your vision that you can count on. Okay. Um, next thing that you want to make sure you have somebody doing customer service. And so as you're making sales, as your business is growing, you should not be the one that's in there responding to all of the emails. Um, And in the beginning, Ariana, as my right hand, um, she was the one that was doing customer service. And as our business was growing, what we realized is like, oh my gosh, I'm paying $35 an hour for customer service. That's pretty expensive for somebody to do customer service. So then we brought on somebody else um, that could handle customer service. And by by the way, um, Ariana is still not full time um, doing business our online business manager. Our customer service is still not full time. Um, Ariana started, I started her because here's the thing. I didn't need a ton of hours to begin with and our business wasn't making a ton of money, but I needed somebody to come in and do a lot of the techie things. So I think I hired her for like 10 hours a month to start with. And because she's so efficient and so on point, she was able to get a ton done in those 10 hours. And then as the business grew, I was able to give her 20 hours a month. And now she's at 40 hours a month. Um, which is good for now. As the business grows, we might need to look at getting her more hours. I don't know. Um, So we brought in somebody to do customer service. Customer service especially is something that you do not need to be doing. You do not need to be the one um, responding to all of your emails. Now, I do think it's important to maintain um, like a level of intimacy with your audience. And so as I'm sending out some personal emails, what I have um, Michelle do, who does our customer service, we have a folder that's labeled for me, for Rachel. And so if people are giving like a personal response, like example, I just sent out an email on, oh, I don't remember, a week ago, on um, how it's been a year since I quit drinking. I got a lot of people respond back to that email. And so I didn't want a response coming from Michelle for something that was personal. So I went in and wrote personalized um, responses to those emails that came in and those came to my folder. I'm not the one saying like when someone responds of, Hey, I can't get logged into my um, pin with purpose account. Can you help me? 
that doesn't need to come from me. That can come from anybody on our team. Okay. Um, so customer service, a great, great, great thing for you to have on your team. Next thing. So we have right hand customer service. And again, this is going to be more of like an evolution. So we didn't hire a million people at once. It's more, okay, this is the need we have in the business. And this is who we're bringing on board. This is the need that's popping up as the business is growing. This is who we need to bring on board. Um, ads manager, somebody to do our Facebook and Instagram ads. So um, this is somebody who's not, we actually outsource this to an ads um, agency. So it's not somebody on our team that's doing it, but we have somebody that's in there running our ads for us. Okay. Another two really important things that you should have is um, a bookkeeper and an accountant. Um, if you need a bookkeeper recommendation, one of our former Activate students, Katie, uh, has been doing our books for years and does a lot of our students' books. If you need a good bookkeeper, she is great. Um, what I was doing up until I hired Katie is I... I really understood that I wanted to be in relationship with our finances and what was coming in and what was going out. So I literally had a spreadsheet and every day I would look at all the sales that we made from what income stream and all the expenses that we had. And I would be tracking it in the spreadsheet every single day, which as the business grew, as we were making more sales, that became ridiculous. Um, so we hired Katie as a bookkeeper um, and then obviously have an accountant as well. Um, other things that you might not outsource immediately, but you'll want to look into getting somebody on your team to do this is sales, having somebody step in and do the sales. I think it's really important that you do this initially. Um, honestly, doing sales, especially like a high, if you have a high ticket offer, which I think every business should have some kind of a high ticket offer, um, it's going to be one of the best things that you spend your time on is actually doing those sales. And then what you get to do is create, you know, a script and create training around how you're doing those sales and that process around it, that when you bring somebody on, you can train them, give them the processes that you've created, and then boom, they can be doing the sales for you. Okay. Other things that you might want to think about having on your team. And as I'm talking, do you like, are anything, is something coming to mind of like, Ooh, I want to hire that person or, Ooh, I need to bring this person on board. Let me see in the chat. Another person that you want to bring on social media. Um, and when you're bringing on someone for social media with every role, I want you to be thinking about what's the return on investment for this role. What's the return on investment for this role? So you don't want someone just to come in and like do a post every day to check the box of doing a post. You want to look at how can I leverage social media to actually help grow the business and to make more sales. Um, so you want to be setting up certain KPIs around each and every role of that you're bringing on into your business. Other things that we have on our team tech. So we have somebody that's doing higher level tech on our team a copywriter and um, you don't need to have like a full-time copywriter. We don't have a full-time copywriter, but when we have certain launches or certain offers that we're creating, we look at bringing on a copywriter to help support us. Cause when you do, let's say a launch, let's say you're doing a five day challenge, you're doing a webinar or something like that. There is so much copy involved in creating that um, all of the different emails and landing pages and sales pages and all that stuff. So hiring a copywriter and, or somebody who understands like the funnels of design is a great investment. The first time I did that, um, I hired uh, a team to do our pin with purpose funnel. It was $5,000 to hire them to do that funnel. That funnel has produced millions of dollars. So like it's a, it's a worthwhile investment when you hire somebody who's good. 5,000 looking back, I'm like, oh, they were cheap. Um, like we could, that could have been like a 20 grand investment and it would have still been worth it. Right. Um, but hiring somebody to do things like that for you, that are like, that's their zone of genius. That's something they're really good at. That's something again, that will bring you an infinite return on your investment. Um, other things that we have brought on board as the business has grown is other coaches. So people that can support me, um, and kind of follow the coaching method that we have developed. So, cause my time is valid. Like I can't, I can't coach every single person under the sun and I would love to work with everyone privately and it's just not possible. Right. Um, and so as we've developed activate our group coaching program, we look at bringing in coaches to support our students. So they still get they, our activate students still get time with me. They still get coaching from me and we want it to be more high touch. So they're getting to work with our activate coaches as well. Okay, so this is a lot. And I'm talking about the team that it requires to hit a million dollars. You don't need all these people right off the bat. If I were to start with just one, it would be having like a right hand person, have that person and somebody to do customer service. In the beginning, that might be the same person. 
but just keep in mind a right hand person who's like really good high level might be more expensive than a customer service person would be. So that might end up splitting into two people and then having definitely bookkeeper accountant and then somebody eventually take over sales. Okay. Was this helpful? I hope so. And um, if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not there yet. You will be. Um, stick around us, stick around our team, and we can get you to that place where you're like, okay, I'm ready to bring on this next person. If you need support in actually making that happen, just go to helpmecoachnow.com and book a call with our team, and we can help you make that happen. The other thing, actually, is we, um, if you wanted to, so Activate is our six-month coaching program that's really helping our students become the go-to expert in their industries. We're hosting a quarterly retreat for our students, and we're actually giving away scholarships for people in our audience to attend as our guests. So if you want to attend that retreat, get some coaching, get some extra support, um, just go to rachelandgohm.com forward slash join retreat, and that way you can apply to get one of those scholarships. So again, it's just rachelandgohm.com forward slash join retreat. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you for our fourth session where I'll talk about absolute best investments that you should make to make a million dollars in your business. So I'll see you then. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye.